I'm speaking for the group that was over here. I'm not a regular Reese's Tate person, so um, yeah. Well, I've shown up to every meeting, so. Um, um, so we have a bunch of different things. Um, we perceived, some people um, said that they perceived Resist Hate as an umbrella for, for action uh, committee um, and thought about how this was working. People loved the meetings with direct action and felt like they were impactful and successful as an incubator for um, legislative ideas. It's a good way to bring people together to learn and work together to build coalitions to make use of, um, I can't read my hand ratings, um, <laughs> of facts that we learned and um, to make use of the connections that we built here. It's good in bringing people together in our communities and building relationships um, and promoting activism. Um, one, one idea was that um, we might stand against NPR and um, ask them to support more of our views was, uh, was one opinion that came up. Um, there was a suggestion that we might have events like a knitting group to, that would prevent, that would not prevent, but um, benefit other people in our community. Um, someone said that they um, felt like uh, issues that they cared about was, were being attacked every day. Um, but the silver lining to this is that Trump has brought us all together to work towards resolving issues. And from this, we are all able to resist. And, and thanks to the system that we have in place in our government, which is something that we often fail to acknowledge that we actually have a voice and we can do something about it. We felt we should put energy into the 2018 elections and work towards making a difference. Um, we needed to have an appreciation of the forum and um, foundation of Resist Hate and um, that we can appreciate it as a conduit or a funnel to connect to other groups around us. Um, we had the opportunity to get inspired and to affirm and then go out into the world and um, take actions and inspire others through our actions. Um, one thing we felt, uh, some people felt was missing was the voice of feminism and rape culture. Um, and that hasn't been discussed at all at Resist Hate, and um, perhaps we need to put a focus on that. Um, we also need to be careful of the use, use of words that we, um, we put together from our community, and such as the, the line about Trump, um, that it might be offensive, offensive to other people, but then there's also the thought that these are the words that brought us to rally together. So maybe we need to have an open mind when we think about the words that um, other people are using and um, just try to work together in that way. Um, some positive actions we thought we could take um, was to reach out to more of the population by emails. We had kind of a we had a good discussion about this, about how it's difficult because if you get too many emails, you're not going to read them. If you don't get enough, you don't know what's going on. Um, so we talked about it being our, responsible, uh, our responsibility to come together to make sure that we look up the places where we can find these events, whether it's at Resist Hate or Rhode Island Future or Uprise Rhode Island places where calendars are updated weekly and daily. Um, we can't always expect that they're going to come to us. We need to go and make ourselves an active part of this and go looking for the information so we know where we need to show up. Um, and in that way, we each take responsibility for informing ourselves. It can't always be done for us. And we um, talked about if you can't be a person who can show up at a rally or at the state house, or at even at a resist hate meeting, you could even become uh, an armchair activist, making phone calls, or maybe connecting with other people by email personally, so that they're aware. Oh, hey, on Wednesday there's something going on. You know, I'm going. Are you going too? Or I can't go. Maybe you could go for me. 
Um, I think that that pretty much covers everything from our group. Did anybody have anything else? Oh, trust. <laughs> so we also found that in talking, um, at first we did have a lot of conversation. There were only a few people who were talking. Um, we were very mindful of making sure that everybody had the opportunity to say their piece and to, you know, be considered. Um, and through this, we built, we built trust with each other and a good line of communication, which is something we can all use. <laughs>